We've been open for two years now and we've seen over 300 patients and it's been getting busier and busier. Yeah, he's got a little bit of chip off that tooth there, hasn't he? Has he yeah. had any problems eating? Is he still eating? No, oh, yeah, he's always eating. He loves his food now. He's still just on the same diet. The students have such a great time at the clinic. They learn so much about communication skills. They um, see the patients, obviously, so they practice their clinical skills. Um, and I think that the other thing is they realise the importance that um, their animals have in people's lives. They really get to appreciate that special bond that the owners have with their pets. What can we do for you? Um, he keeps uh, washing this uh, front paw and he's been limping on it off and on since Sunday. Did you say he had been licking at it as yeah, well yeah. and limping on it? Yeah, I just noticed he's got a little bit of nick and yeah, quite, might a have a bit nick. of glass in there. They're often quite sensitive on their paw pads, so we'll have a little look. The main thing that, because obviously we're offering very basic treatment here, because um, it's run by the charity, but mostly the worming and the fleeing. But there's the odd case in where we have to like try and refer them to somewhere that can offer the pets a little bit more. I sell the big issue anyway, so um, obviously when I was coming down here, they told me that they had a vet clinic uh, running and you could get like the vaccinations and stuff like that done for free. So obviously it saves me having to pay for it when I haven't really got the money. You know, I've always wanted a dog anyway, and you know, I love them to bits. It's company for me. The microchips, yeah. Well, of course they are students, so everything that they do is closely supervised. So we do make sure that everything they say is appropriate and correct. Um, but they can give vaccines, they can microchip, they can give flea and worm treatment, they can advise on healthcare. And often it's just quite reassuring to have your pet checked over and say, well, no, actually he is really well. People really appreciate that reassurance. This is an eye, eye drops. These are for um, eye ulcers. Um, and these are some ear drops, and those are for um, ear infections. This is Billy Wiz. Um, is is the only family I've got in in this world, so he is quite important to me. I've had him since he was about six months old. Hey, nice coat. Wait, wait. There you go. Oh, you I know you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. I know. When people saw me homeless on the street with my dog, oh well, you shouldn't have a dog on the street. Well, people do have a dog before they come into that situation. I've had my dog long before when I was working and when I did have somewhere. It doesn't mean that just because now I've, I've fallen on hard times I'm going to get rid of my dog. That'd be like chopping my arm off. It's just not happening. Yeah, Your stars as ever. Well, you know yeah, man. Billy boys are still Love you guys. Yeah. Lots about it. Okay, so check her ears, check her nails, yeah. and vaccination. Teeth okay? Yep, look fine. Ears? Yeah, they're all fine. Still a minute. Still fine, yep. Squeaky toy? <laughs> A lot of people have the attitude that our clients, if they can't afford to keep pets, why should they have them? And there's really, I think, two ways of looking at it. Not everybody plans to become homeless, and some people already have pets when they're in that position. And the other part of the equation is a lot of our clients, most of our clients, their animals are really well looked after. They're so high, such a high priority. Um, and I don't think you can necessarily judge people's situation. If you've got, if all the people in your life have let you down, then you're really going to rely on your pet. I think it's really important for our training because it gives us an opportunity to practice day one competencies such as taking a history, giving flea treatment, worming, vaccinations and be able to like diagnose like basic problems that animals might, you might see animals have every day in vet practice. Cheerio folks, have a good day.